So today we're gonna to talk about the right and wrong way to do a goal card. If you don't know what a goal card is, then you are in for a treat. And if you do know, maybe you're doing it wrong or you're nailing it and you just need some positive reinforcements. Let's talk about that so you can make sure you manifest and get what you want out of your life. So away we go. Folks, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Steven. This is my channel, New Thinking, New Life, where we make videos to help everybody get better in life. You with new thinking, you create a new life. If you like this video and you're just browsing on through, go ahead and uh, click subscribe, click the little bell icon, and then that way you'll be notified when I do new videos. Leave me a comment and I will read my comments. In my next YouTube video, I will pick a comment and read that comment out and talk about that comment. Okay. What is a goal card? Why do we need to make them? And am I doing it wrong? Well, the truth is goal cards have been around forever. Napoleon Hill talks about them in Think and Grow Rich. That may be the first time it was ever put into print. And goal cards in Think and Grow Rich are kind of complicated. They don't have to be. Bob Proctor also talks about goal cards. So we're gonna first take a look at the proper way to format a goal card. Then we're gonna take a look at the wrong way to do a goal card. Then we're gonna take a look at the right way and explain why everything is the way it is. Because with explanations, we don't just have random reasons. We don't tell a kid, you tell a kid because I said so, that doesn't go very far with them, trust me. So let's go. All right, the first thing we're gonna to have to do is look at the format of a goal card. Why do we do it in a certain way? Well, you can see simply you. enough, it's not hard. We have the date on the top. That's the date you're writing the goal, don't you know? We then have the goal stated in the present tense, and we also have your name printed and the signature. The reason we wanna make this format work is we want to know the date that we wrote out the goal. That's very important because without a starting point, you never know where you're starting from. You won't know how to get to where you're going. Stated in the present, you're gonna write the goal. We'll get to that in a second. And then you're gonna print your name and sign your own name. This is all important. We're gonna use our own handwriting and there's something very really special about taking a pen to paper and having the brain send the, neuro the neurological impulses through your body to write things. If your handwriting sucks, who cares? You're the only one reading this card. You don't have to worry about it. You'll know what it says. But now, step two, we're gonna look at the improper way to format your card and see what your goals are gonna be and how to not write them. So let's take a look at that. All right, right now I have a goal. My goal is involving YouTube subscribers, but this is the wrong way to go about it. As you can see right here, I wrote simply, I want 1 million YouTube subscribers and I want to earn blank amount of money per month by helping out with people. Now, I didn't also sign this and I didn't date this. The reason why this doesn't work is very simple. When you have a want, a want is something that's great, but it's more or less just a daydream. I put an entire blog entry on my website, which you can find in the link description below. When you have a want, it's not anything that your brain can comprehend as real. Your brain doesn't differentiate between if you're dreaming during your sleep, if you're telling it a command, or if you are living in the present looking at the reality of the situation. Don't write a want down on a goal card. If you write a want down on a goal card, you're just gonna have a goal, but you're not gonna live in the command center of your conscious mind that sends it to your subconscious mind that creates your body's actions to get you the goal. It's, it's really important that you live in the present and write things as though they have already happened, which leads us to step three, that's trace in Spanish. <laughs> that is how to finally properly format your goal card. So let's take a look at that now. This goal card is properly done, in my opinion. You might have a better way to do it that works for you. We start off with the date of the goal. We put down in the present tense as though it's already happened what our goal is. I have 1 million YouTube subscribers and I earn X dollars to buy helping others per month. And then we also, of course, write our name and then we put down our signature. And by putting things as though they've already happened, the brain, you tell the lie to the brain enough, the brain makes the lie become the reality. And that's just really what it is. If a person tells themselves a million times that they're sick, they will become sick. If they say, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick, they become sick. If people say I'm vibrant, I'm healthy, I have lots of energy, they become that thing. And if you write down your goal as though it's already happened, then a magical thing happens and your brain starts to figure out ways to get to where it needs to be to make it happen. That's just the way it is. I can't explain it. It's a psychological trick, but it's kind of like how 
homing pigeons can always get back where they are. You can put a homing pigeon in a box, take it to the other side of the country in a box, let it go, and it always goes back to its starting point, its origin point. It's just an amazing thing we do. It's like we have a radar or, or a sonar in our brains. So that's the right way to write a goal card. If you're more interested in goal cards and stuff like that, you're gonna go ahead and click the Amazon link to find Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. You really should read it. If you guys want more stuff, go to my website. There's some links in the description below for a web uh, review that I did on uh, a program that'll help you manifest things. Uh, that's a great review I did. And you can also find some good articles on my website. Did this video help you out? You let me know by clicking the button that says like. And if you guys leave me a comment, I will read the comment to you next video that I do. And I love to read comments. So thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.